What's happening, YouTube? Jonathan Perriente V Education 10 here, coming at you guys with another video. I want to ask you guys to please continue to check and subscribe to my channel for more YouTube videos. And in my Yankees gear, a very impressive victory by the Yankees tonight. Staving off elimination, defeating the Astros 4 to 1, forcing a game 6 and sending this series back to Minute Maid Park in Houston, Texas. So, the Yankees overcame a big demon today in defeating Justin Verlander, somebody they have struggled to beat in the playoffs throughout their entire career. More importantly, the Yankees finally did something that they haven't done pretty much the entire series. That was get a big hit. <laughs> I mean, how much more do I have to stress it? Getting a big hit was something this Yankees team hasn't done for the past three games. And finally, in the first inning, when you have to hit Verlander when he doesn't have his best stuff, the Yankees did. The Yankees fell behind early, 1-0. Wild pitch was the only run Houston scored the whole game. Then two pitches into and a bat with DJ LeMahieu, home run. Judge worked a single, Glaber Torres doubled after a Giancarlo Stanton strikeout. Aaron Hicks hit the go-ahead three-run shot off the foul pole. And from there, the Yankees were able to hold on to the game from there. James Paxton probably had one of the biggest outings of his career and probably one of the most important outings he ever had as a Yankee. And I'll say this right now, and I know it's been a small sample size, but tonight Paxton proved that he can pitch in the playoffs. We can depend on him in a big outing when we need it. Paxton had to step up in one of the biggest games of his life, and he had to gut this performance out. He had to throw 112 pitches through six innings. And he did. So the Yankees now, they're not out of the woods yet. And now the tough part of this series comes. They have to play possibly two games in Houston. Doesn't mean they can't win there. They could win. It's not impossible. But it's going to be very tricky. So... Game 6 will be a bullpen game. Both teams are going to go with a bullpen day. So this is going to be very, very interesting how the Yankees are going to approach this and how Houston's going to approach this. Now the good for the Yankees is they did not use Chad Green today. So Chad Green will be ready to go and very likely, if, if I'm the Yankees and they'll probably do this, he'll be the opener for Game 6. That would be my assumption. What Houston will go with, I'm not sure. My guess is they could go with the kid Jose or Keedy. Very possible. They do have Brad Peacock now on the roster. He did only have to pitch an inning last night. So they could use him today for Game 6 if need be. Now, could the Yankees win Game 6? I think they can. I don't think it's impossible. But, say they do win Game 6, Game 7 is going to be Garrett Cole. The Yankees will have Severino on hand for that game. And you have to wonder, again, like, did the Yankees break out of the slump that they were in for the past three games? Because game four was their worst performance of the whole season. And I'm hoping we don't see another clunker like that for the rest of these playoffs, assuming how deep the Yankees go. So... Definitely going to be interesting to see how Aaron Boone will attack this bullpen game for Game 6. While you do have Green, you didn't use Adovino, but he's really just been uh, not reliable. Kane Lee didn't have to throw a lot of pitches, but this is going to be his third day in a row where you could ask him to pitch, and that's going to be a little tricky. Britton didn't have to throw too many pitches today, but he'll be pitching pretty much, I think, for the third straight game. The one guy the Yanks haven't used much is Chapman. So Chapman's fully ready to go, and he didn't have to throw a lot of pitches tonight at all. So you have you definitely have Chapman for sure for Game 2. If we need to go Game 7, you do have him for Game 7, possibly if need be. But how the Yankees will attack the rest of this game will be the question mark. Obviously, Green will go out there maybe an inning or two, if I have to guess. The Yankees do have Jay Happ. They could use him for a few innings if need be. Unfortunately, CC Sabathia, while he pitched in game 
four, he ended up getting injured again, and immediately the Yankees had to take him off the ALCS roster in what would be his final appearance as a major league player. And I want to take that moment to thank CC and appreciate him for the work for his time as a Yankee and what he brought to this organization. Uh, for him to even brave it, to even make every effort to, to play and come back from the injuries that he had this year deserves a lot of respect and recognition. And I'm wondering if maybe that game five, if that game four could spark the Yankees a little bit into really wanting to win this for CC. That will be a very, that'll be a very interesting footnote going forward if, again, that's if the Yanks win game six tomorrow night and if they can possibly even force us to game seven and even win game seven. But right now, the odds are not exactly in the Yankees' favor right now. You kind of go back and say, man, I wish they had taken game two in Houston and game three at New York in the Bronx. This could have been a very different series had that happened, but right now, you have to roll with the punches right now and you know again Aaron Boone had to change up the lineup but at least this time John Carlos Stanton actually played now I know a lot of people are going to say this about Stanton and they're not wrong to say this about him that he never comes up in a big spot that may be but he has shown that he can work at bats and his presence in the lineup does create a different team and you know what? In the two games Stanton was in the lineup in this series, the Yanks have won. When they didn't have him, they lost. So I think Stanton actually helps this lineup a lot more than people think. At the cost of putting Stanton back in the lineup, the Yankees did have to bench Eddie Encarnacion. And listen, I love the guy, but he has just not been hitting in the postseason. Not that Stanton has either. Not that Gary Sanchez has hit. Neither of them have hit. But right now, the Yankees have to go with what's with their main guys. I mean, I'm not... Should Romine get a, a look? Maybe Romine might get a look. Maybe Sanchez... I don't want to say it, but maybe Sanchez gets hurt, and then Romine has to play. Who, who knows? But... The Yankees will have to really maneuver Game 6. This is going to be very important right now. The Yankees did get an additional bullpen arm because of Sabathia's injury... The Yankees have put Ben Heller on the roster, so that'll be another piece the Yanks have in the bullpen if they need to go to, if his spot were to come up. So this is going to be very, very interesting tomorrow night for Game 6, and, you know, the Yankees, it's do or die. Can they force a Game 7? I really hope they do. I would like to see a rematch of Severino and Cole, and I'm hoping the Yankees could be the team that beats Cole. But for any of that to happen... The Yankees must win Game 6. It's not going to be easy playing in Houston. The Yankees did win a game in Houston and could have won two. So the Yankees will just have to approach this one batter at a time, take their patient at bats, and again, just do what they did against Verlander in the first inning. When you have a chance to score early, you better take advantage. Because as you saw in the game with Verlander, he gave up one hit the rest of the game, and he went seven innings despite the, the four-run outburst the Yanks had in the first inning. So the Yankees are going to have to attack the bullpen of Houston early, and if they do, they should be in good shape. The same thing will have to happen if this, game goes se if this series goes seven. They have got to attack Garrett Cole early. If they don't, the game will be over before we can blink. So this is it now. This is the Yankees' chance to force Game 7, possibly if they win Game 6. Game 7 will be up in the air, but I'll tell you this. if the, Right now, even though, look, everybody's going to say the pressure's on the Yankees and they're not wrong about it, but the pressure now is more on Houston than it is on the Yankees. The Yankees don't have to worry about playing in front of their crowd anymore. Houston now has to play in front of their crowd. And the Yankees won't have to have the pressure of their fans getting under their skin, although they, you know, Houston is a very similar, you know, loud fan base. But if the Yankees just focus and play their game, 
Anything could happen. We've seen comebacks in the playoffs before. We've seen it. Chapman was on the Cubs. They came back from 3-1 down. And ironically enough, and I don't know if this is going to play out the same way, but there was another ALCS that took place several years ago. Very similar situation. This team went down early in the series. A rainout took place. They lost that game. And then would go on to stage the most incredible comeback in the history of ALCS. 2004, guys. The Red Sox came back from 3-0 down. <clears throat> and came back to win the series in 7. Is it going to be an easy one to do for the Yanks? No. But could it be done? Yes. Could Game 5 possibly be a... Maybe the spark that lights the Yankees fire? We'll see. It's a battle of the bullpens in Houston for Game 6 of the ALCS. Fasten your seatbelts, guys. The Yanks are still breathing, and hopefully they'll continue to breathe through the rest of this week. Jonathan Pariente, The Education 10, saying bye for now.